Hi guys, I was speaking to Stick68 the other night, I think it's 68, and uh, mentioned his um, backpack that he got. Um, sort of a traditional backpack, and uh, that uh, fired me up to go and have a look at uh, look at the one I've got. Um, this is it. It's a scout pack that I've had since, it's over 50 years old now. Um, it was put up in the loft when I bought other backs and that, and uh, uh, Stick's just inspired me to go and uh, get it out and have a look at it. Well. I did get it out. Um, as I say, it's, it's over 50 years old. There's nothing. There's no. Um, there's no names on it. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just an everyday boy scout. It's what I used to use when I was in the scout. So uh, I put some gear in it, and I was quite surprised um, just what I got in it. So uh, I'll have a quick run through um, and show you what I managed to get into it. Um, I don't know the capacity of it, but. Uh, the only thing I did need to replace was the uh, the drawstring for the uh, for the top of the pack. The first thing that's a bit of a surprise is my sleeping bag. Um, this is a Forces jungle weight sleeping bag, and uh, that manages to compress down quite small, and uh, it's not so bulky as uh, taking a blanket. So that's in there. I managed to get that in there. I also managed to get a uh, my small tarp in there with the cords on it so I've now got my sleeping bag, I've got my tarp also I have a poncho which is rolled up and uh, put up with a couple of uh, dog collars actually on it so uh, I can uh, clip these to the outside of the pack if I need so I've got my sleep set, I've got my tarp, I've got my poncho which I also use as a ground sheet my cook set that I'm taking is uh, an old favourite. Some of you know it as a volcano stove, some say it's Swedish, some say it's whatever, but basically it comes with a cup. Um, I've converted this one. This used to be the original bottle that came with it, the water bottle to carry the water in, but I cut the top off that, um, which means that I can use that as a larger as a larger boiling can and I've also found that this aluminium bottle will fit inside of that. So I've got my fire, I've got a larger water boiler or cooker, I've got a water bottle inside and of course if that's not any good then you can um, and you only need a cup full then the cup goes in the top there so I think that's totally well. Quite pleased with it. I've had that a few years and uh, seems to do the job admirably. So basically that's my cooking and my sleeping. In the side pocket, um, it looks a bit big but it is a first aid kit. I've got um, an orange shelter, I've got um, a bandana, a sling, plus all the normal. There's a full sleeping bag in there and uh, the normal plasters and uh, equipment like that. Also, just for the, just for the overnight, um, this is not my main food, but there's a little bag in here. It's got um, sachets of coffee, tea, milk, sugar, some seasoning in there um, for the food. That's that pocket. The other side, um, I could take this out, well yeah, I'll have, let you have a quick look. Um, carry this leather pouch, um, and in the leather pouch is quite a bit. It's something I like to put in my pocket if I'm just out for a walk in the woods. Um, it's got a sharpening stone in there, a um, bit lighter, because you don't always want to struggle, small knife, a um, piece of wick, some sewing needles, and just a small bundle of cord. That goes with me most places, so, that does that. This little pouch has got my brass tinder box and fire lighting gear inside it. That goes in there. There's silver compass. So that gives me that. And also uh, just a small LED LED torch. Pocket around the front carries the shimag which is always handy, you can use that for a number of things, which is good. 
my knife, which would be on my belt if I was walking, so that's there. A pair of leather gloves and uh, my uh, folding saw. So there you go guys, tiny little pack. Oh, and the other extra I've done to the pack is I've cut a piece of sleep mat off, which gives me somewhere safe to sit, just a single seat, but slid down in the back of the pack, gives me a bit of protection in the pack and um, keeps anything sharp from digging me back. Okay there guys, so uh, that's it, and uh, look forward to reviews on it and any comments you have to put on it. So thanks for that, bye.